Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video we're going to be talking about major and minor salivary glands. So saliva is a watery fluid which is secreted from salivary glands and it has numerous functions including lubrication, carrying enzymes which digest food, acting as a buffering medium and more. There are three pairs of major salivary glands which are large glands which secrete saliva through a duct in the mouth and those major salivary glands are the parotid gland, the submandibular gland, and the sublingual gland. And we can classify these salivary glands based on the type of saliva they produce. So we have serous salivary glands, which secrete saliva with rich amounts of the enzyme salivary amylase. And that's involved in the digestion of starches. Another type is mucus-based, and this is where the main protein secreted is mucin which acts as a lubricant so it, the saliva is rich in this protein called mucin. The third type of salivary gland is seromucus whereby both mucin and amylase are produced. The parotid gland is located here around the mandibular ramus. It's the largest of the major salivary glands and produces around 20% of the total saliva production. It's classified as the serous type of salivary gland so the main protein it produces is amylase. The submandibular gland is located here above the digastric muscles. The submandibular gland is classified as the seromucus type and it produces the majority of saliva production in the mouth, so that's around 70%. The salivary secretions from the submandibular gland enter the oral cavity via a duct known as the Wharton's duct, and it's also known as the submandibular duct, which is located here. The sublingual gland is located here, inferior to the tongue. The sublingual glands are generally classified as the seromucus type, however they do produce mostly mucin. Saliva exits from the sublingual glands through around 8 to 20 ducts, known as the rivenous ducts. Now we're going to talk about the minor salivary glands. So there are thousands of them located throughout the oral cavity and they are located in the submucosa, and that's in the lingual and buccal mucosa, the soft palate, the lateral portions of the hard palate and in the floor of the mouth. The minor salivary glands are very small and are difficult to see, so when they become visible it's sometimes due to some kind of retention cyst or a tumour. Minor salivary glands are seromucous, meaning they produce both serous saliva and mucin saliva. However, some areas there is a greater ratio of mucin producing to serous producing minor salivary glands, so the location of the glands is what determines the type of saliva produced. This is just a brief overview on salivary glands. I'll be making another video which is more detailed in regards to the anatomy of the glands and how the nervous system stimulates the secretion of saliva.